from the general Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa. Rather haggard looking guy, yet uh, I quite enjoy this. We have the hematoid ferruginous hematite included quartz. This is a little cluster. Matrix is uh, maybe a little bit of feldspar associated too. And forming on here, I actually see no contact on this one. Um, often material from this deposit is contacted. It comes from rather hot, harsh conditions, so transportation is often a problem. This is from where vehicles can't pass. Um, a, a, uh, the, the red, of course, would be the hematite in oxidation, and the grey would be a younger hematite which hasn't oxidized as yet. Um, often these guys have phantoms. Let me see if we can find a little phantom on this edge, on this particular crystal. Let's see if I can. A white phantom, there you see a little bit of that, maybe some kale and clay trapped inside the specimen. Let's move it around like this. So, uh, standing from a display point of view, I, I would have it standing maybe like this, where you, where you bring out this rather large in proportion to the specimen quartz crystal over there. Um, or have it flat on a turntable, going around like this various aspects and there you can see multi-generational growth of the quartz where you had the original crystal and you had new faces going onto it and of course on closer inspection under magnification you'll find that there are tiny uh, rosettes of the uh, 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 hematite uh, uh, a specularite actually hematite uh, uh, trapped inside and some are oxidized going into the red